last month. I talked about how it was time to throw that caution flag in the condom market. That premise, it sticks, but it may also be time to find a caution flag for the single family market as well. We aren't there yet, but things can change quickly. Ultimately, these rate cuts couldn't come at a better time. The real estate market has survived. They took some of the worst punches a market could take. And the effects, well, they're starting to show. But the interest rate cut bailout is right around the corner. And it's going to be a lifeline that the market needs. If you're wanting to hear about the Massachusetts real estate market data for single family homes, condos, as well as multifamily properties, then you're in the right place. Real quick, my name is Jeff Chuff. And I'm a recovering investment banker, turned real estate agent, and investor that has sold more than a thousand homes. If you have any real estate questions, then know I'm here to help. Thinking about buying a house? Then find out how you can save thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars by using the Purchase Power Plan instead of paying the traditional commission of 25 to 3% of the purchase price at closing. Let's start with single family homes. In August of 2024, we saw 3,799 single family houses sell for an average sales price of $832,000. Chalk this up, up to the fourth month where we have seen sales down year over year. Now, the 3,799 single family homes that sold in August was 3.8% less than last year when we sold 3,950 homes. We've now seen sales levels down four months out of the last eight months. Now, this is ultimately what I expected for this year. Some months we would be ahead of the year over year, and then some months we'd be behind. Adding in this month's sales levels, the year-to-date sales of the state of Massachusetts has increased to 1.4%, as we have now sold 24,492 units, compared to the 24,144 units at this point in 2023. Now, August was our lowest year-over-year price increase that we've seen so far. In August, we recorded a 5.6% year-over-year increase in prices and single-family property values. Now, this is why I would say we should maybe start trying to locate a caution flag for the single-family market. Because the trend has been downward for the last five months. With eight months down, home prices in Massachusetts are up 7.4% year-over-year. But the pullbacks continue. We were at an 8.8% year-over-year appreciation rate three months ago, 8.1%. Two months ago, 7.8% increase one month ago, and now the 7.4% this month. With eight months of the books, I can say with certainty that 2024 will end up with a single-family market ending the year in the green. For all the people that were praying for price declines, this is not your year. Now on to the yearly sales comparison levels. Like I said, we were down compared to last year. Our sales levels of 3,799. Also, they put us in ballpark of sales levels we saw in August 2011, which were 3,859 units sold. As we've said many times before, sales levels, they're not great, but sales levels and housing prices are not correlated. But the sales sign has a lifeline being thrown to them with these decreasing interest rates. If sales go up, then that would put more pressure on inventory levels, which will ultimately lead to... You got it right. Higher pricing. So four months out of the last eight months of the year-over-year sales declines are, well, they don't sound great, but let's put it all in perspective. Before this year, we had 30 consecutive months of year-over-year sales declines. We had to go back to June of 2021 in order to find the last month of a year-over-year gain before we kicked off 2024. And now that is 50 consecutive months of year-over-year home price increases. We've seen the rate of home prices increasing and starting to taper off. Will this continue is the big question. Will this turn bleak in the latter part of the year or will interest rate cuts stimulate the market and shoot prices back up? Time will tell, but like I said last month, I see little doubt that this doesn't hit five consecutive years or 60 months of pricing gains. But as we know, it's all about inventory levels. So let's take a look at inventory. We ended the month with 4,773 single family homes on the market year over year. Inventory levels are up 28.2%. A quick note that these inventory levels are a little lower than they should be. This is thanks to the early Labor Day weekend, which bled a little into the end of August. Now, we saw more level inventory numbers in August, which makes for an interesting story when it's compared to the decreasing inventory levels of 2022. We now have 1,121 more single-family homes on the market at the end of August 2024 compared to August of 2023. And 55 fewer homes on the market when comparing it to August of 2022. New listings, they were down year over year. We listed 3,847 single-family homes in Massachusetts in August of 2024. This was like 3.1% decrease when compared to August of 2023. Price reductions were up year over year in August 2024. We saw a 6% increase in price reductions throughout the state. 
Now, there were 356 single-family homes that did a price reduction in August. Quick recap. So sales in the single-family market were down by 3.8%, while inventory was up by 28.2%. The number of new listings were down by 3.1%. Well, compared to last year's numbers, but we saw a 6% increase in price reductions for August of 2024. Now, the historical home price trend, it continues. Yes, home prices are pulling back year over year, but we see that every year. I said this last month, but I feel like I just need to say it again. Do not, I repeat, do not get baited into headlines and say housing prices are down month over month. Always look at year over year data. As we talked about earlier, the $832,000 average sales price means that home prices in Massachusetts are up 5.6% year over year and 7.4% year to date. We have the condo market and the multifamily market up next. But first, any interesting to me, a huge favor just helps play with that YouTube algorithm. Can you hit that like button right down there? It just makes a huge difference to me as well as the channel. And we saw 1,483 condos close in Massachusetts for the month of August with an average sales price of $695,000. Let's start with the sales data. Sales levels, they were down in the condo market as well. Sales levels were down by 7.4% year over year. 1,483 condos sold in Massachusetts was the month of August was compared to the 1,601 units that sold in August of 2023. Now, two months ago, sales levels were down 5.3% year over year. Last month, we saw some improvement. With sales levels down 3.4% year over year. And this month, we actually slipped back a little bit to 3.6% year over year sales decline. As we now have 10,989 condos that sold compared to 11,396 in the first eight months of 2023. We've seen year over year sales declines for five out of the last eight months in the condo market. So the single family has won up the condo market there. Before this year, it was a 25 month streak of year over year sales declines. It was November of 2021 that saw the last sales level year over year increase before we started the 2024 year off. As we've said, not a great month for sales. And this graph, it really shows it. The 1,483 sales fell short of August 2011 levels, but were well ahead of the August 2010 levels. Inventory growth continues for the month of August in the condo market. The 2,506 condos on the market in Massachusetts, 23.2% higher than the inventory levels of August 2023. We were just slightly above the inventory levels of 2021. Now, I see this inventory growth as a short-term enjoyment with buyers if we are truly entering a cycle of interest rate cuts, buyers, they should act quickly. But I do think it is interesting to note that our inventory levels are now at the levels of COVID craziness where people are trying to get out of condo living and move into the suburbs. The 2021-2024 inventory levels have been pretty consistent for the month of August. On the last Monday of August, we had 487 more condos on the market when we compared to the 2023, 279 more than compared to 2022, and 130 more than compared to 2021. The amount of new listings were down with 1,525 new condo listings hitting the market. The 187 fewer listings when compared to August 2023 represents a 10.9% decrease in new listings in Massachusetts for the month of August. Meanwhile, we saw a decrease in the amount of condos that saw price reductions in Massachusetts in August of 2024, as there were 106 price adjustments. This was 23 units or 17.8% less than what compared to August of 2023. As a year over year comparison, sales levels were down 7.4%. New listings were down by 10.9% when compared to 2023. Meanwhile, inventory was up by 23.2% with the number of price reductions decreasing by 17.8% year over year. Yes, prices were down last month, but I've always felt that July 2023 data was an outlier. This is no outlier, and we can't place a little asterisk there for this month's data because condo prices, they were down year over year, and it actually sounds about right. The average sales price is $695,000, which was 1.1% lower than the average sales price in August 2023, when it was $702,000. This is the first back-to-back year-over-year price decline since January, February 2021. The first four months of this year were definitely kinder to condo owners than the last four months have been. Year-to-date, condo prices in Massachusetts are up by 2.4%. This number was 4.6% in June and then 2.9% in July. The trend line isn't a great one for condo owners in Massachusetts. I'm confident that home prices won't go down for the single family market in 2024. I can't call that shot for condo prices. It's just too close to call. And now for my very quick shameless plug. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home, then reach out to me as it would be a true honor to help me guide you through the process. Now into the multifamily market. Another good month in the multifamily market. In August 2024, we saw 469 multifamily properties sell for an average sales price of $827,000. The 469 units sold was two units or a whopping 0.4% increase in the year-over-year sales levels for August. Now, this means that year-over-year sales levels are now up by only 6%. The 469 units sold 
pretty much puts us exactly on par with the sales levels of last year. The next year that was close to our sales levels of August 2024 would be August 2011 when we sold 489 multifamily properties. Now, I ultimately think the decreasing interest rates are really going to help the multifamily market. Inventory continues to grow on the multifamily market. There are currently 706 multifamily properties on the market, which means the inventory levels are up by 27 units or 4% year over year. The amount of additional inventory continues to be fairly consistent over the last couple of months. We have 60 more multifamily homes on the market when compared to the end of August of 2023. Meanwhile, we listed 10.5% more multifamily properties than we did in 2023. We listed 664 multifamily homes in August 2024, which is compared to the 601 multifamily properties in August 2023. Year over year, the $827,000 was 13.2% higher than the levels we recorded in August 2023. Since when does a 13.2% appreciation rate not seem great? It's when you're comparing it against the 20 and 29% appreciation rate. The 13% was the third highest we recorded in 2024. Multifamily property pricing is now up by 13.4% for the first eight months of 2024. This is an improvement from the 13.1% that we were at last month. When it's talk about your own personal real estate needs, again, it's Jeff Chubb. Whether you're looking to buy or sell over the next night or 90 days, then I would love to chat with you and just find out more about your real estate goals. And if you know of anyone that's thinking about buying or selling a house, then I truly appreciate you passing along all my contact information. You can visit us at youtuberealestateagent.com or find all my contact information in the description below right down there. Until next time.